For the following exercises, find functions f of x and g of x, so the given function can be expressed as h of x equals f of g of x. Okay, so composite functions. They gave us the composite function here, and we have to work backwards to get the individual f and g functions. So always go back to the notation that they want it as. They want it as h of x equals f of g of x. Which one is the outer function, do you think, and which one is the inner one? The inner function is the one that's more inside parentheses. So the g of x function would be the inner function, it's inside, and the f of x function is the outside function. When you're trying to make the pieces of the puzzle work, when we're trying to get what f and g are, always work for inner to outer. So to find out what your components were, you're going to find a piece of the function that looks like it was placed into a bigger function. You're going to look out for exponents and look out for those radicals because that's probably going to give you the answer. We always think of some values with x that are trapped or inside other things. So let's look for the first one. The first one is h of x equals 1 over 3x squared minus 4 all raised to the negative third. Hmm, let's see. Is there anything inside something bigger? Maybe with parentheses? Yeah, right? This whole thing, 3x squared minus 4, is inside. It's trapped in these parentheses. And that whole thing is being raised to the negative third. Oh, so this whole thing is inside inside. It's trapped inside. Use that key notation. Think. What is inside something else? That is going to give you the answer for the inner function, and in this case it's the g of x function. So, literally, write it as that. The g of x function was whatever you thought was inside something else. So the g of x function was 3x squared minus 4. That's the hardest part, guys. The easiest part is now doing the outer function because I show you a little trick. Mentally, you would do this when you get better. I'm going to write it down for you um, just so that you have it and see it visually. So to find the outer function, which is the f of x one, just rewrite what it was. So the whole thing was 1 over 3x squared minus 4, all raised to the negative 3. Now all you got to do is just erase what you said was the inner function. So I'm just going to erase all of this because that was the inner function. And you're just going to put a x in its place. That's it. Now, I just want to say that, you know, we're using x here because it was x. But let's just say that there was like an s here. You would have to put an s. All right. And then you just got to make it pretty. So we'll say f of x equals 1 over x raised to the negative third. And that's it. There's your two functions. Finding the inner function is the hardest one, but just think of what is trapped or inside something else. Okay, let's move on to the second one. h of x equals uh, the fourth root of 3x minus 2 over 8x uh, plus 5. Is there anything that looks trapped under something else? Not parentheses here, but maybe a radical, a square, or in this case, a cubed root, uh, a fourth root. Oh, looks like this whole thing is trapped inside this radical. So this whole thing is the inside. It's the inner function. There you go. That's the hardest part. G of x equals 3x minus 2 all over x plus 5. Now, mentally, um, you try to erase whatever you just said and put an x there. I'm just going to show you visually here. f of x equals the fourth root of 3x minus 2 over x plus 5. Erase what you said was the inner function. So that's all of this. And you're just going to put a x here. That's it. It's just the fourth root of x. So I'm just going to clean this up for you guys. But it's basically as simple as that. It's just a 4, fourth root of x. And there are your two functions. Move on to the third one. We got this, guys. 
Okay, so let's see. Third one is h of x equals 8 plus x cubed divided by 8 minus x cubed, all raised to the fourth. Is there anything that's trapped or inside something else? Yeah, you got it. It looks like this whole thing is inside these big parentheses. And that's all being raised to the fourth. So there you go. G of x is 8 plus x th to the third over 8 minus x to the third. Okay, now we just got to find the bigger function. The bigger function was f of x. And I'm just going to write the whole thing just so that you could see it visually, but you probably, you guys probably can write it down. You could check your answer. Okay, so here it was. Erase everything that was your inner function, and we just put a x. That's it. So this one looks like it's just x to the fourth. I'm just going to clean this up for you guys. And that's it, right? This would just be x to the fourth. And there are your two functions. Pretty awesome, right? It's basically doing a puzzle. I like it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, hit the like button. Subscribe. Um, that will help our channel out. And thank you so much for that. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys all in the next lesson, all right? Have an awesome day. Keep studying hard. You guys got this. See you then.